Sandy, what a joy and uh, honor to meet with you. Well, I'm David. You. Yes, David. And Hi. I have always watched your YouTube channel, but more importantly, I respect all the work that you've done. So I'm with uh, Sandy Muron. If you guys don't know of the Muron Associate, he has a YouTube channel, but more important than that, you take break apart cars, you <laughs> yeah. do benchmark work, and engineer stuff that I love, as you guys know. Yeah. Uh, tell me a little bit more about what you've been up to lately. Well, um, currently we are working on uh, five different uh, brand new um, EV type products. Okay. Um, the one that I can probably mention is Aptera. We've been working with okay. them for about two years okay. to help them launch their vehicle. So mostly we do is new product development. Yes, yeah. um, we do the YouTube channel, Monroe Live, and we also do um, mm, quite a bit uh, with the tier one and tier two community. Yes. But our okay. big thing is new product development for mostly automobiles, medical devices, some aircraft, and in quite a bit with the Department of Defense uh, right. in the okay. U.S. Yeah. Okay, super. So, we're, by the way, we're at the Foodie Charge Conference here in Vancouver. Ta-da. Uh, that's right <laughs> where we are. And uh, yeah, so I'm an honor to have a chance to talk with uh, Sandy here. Tell me a little bit more about the latest practices around how lean and agile might be being integrated together. Like, so for those people who don't yeah. know what those terms are, lean is a method or process um, pioneered by companies like Toyota to reduce waste. Uh, to reduce time and agile is more about product development work using iteration process what we call the scrum thinking uh, more on that later but are companies actually integrating the two together these days do you it, know? De it depends a lot on where you are mm. so uh, we were working a lot with the Chinese companies from about 2014 till 2019 okay I spent a lot of time in China um, and um, what we what we did in China was help them get into the EV market Interesting, um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, and, and they're, they're uh, big now, right? Uh, I, b I believe that BYD will probably turn out to be the biggest the car biggest, company, right. probably around 20, 2030 or thereabouts. Right. Um, but but the the real um, the real, if you like, uh, the best at it right now, um, are it's back to it's back to Toyota. Okay. Um, uh, we 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 uh, worked with Toyota a long time ago. Mm -hmm. We also use the same system, the Monaco, sorry, uh, Monosakori system. Monosakori, yeah, Monosakori, yeah. yes. Yeah. So yeah. That's, which, which means making things, by the way, yeah, in Japanese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So at the end of the day, um, we look at everything from the concept design until the first customer ship. So there's a lot of stuff in between there. That's kind of what we like to do. But you'll find that in North America, it's divided up into a bunch of sections. Right, so okay. some people, get very excited about the Toyota production system. Yes. Some people will get excited about uh, designing for robotics or automation mm. or, or assembly or something like that. Right. But I don't see that harmonious, um, Interesting. Uh, if you like, uh, spread of, of technologies right. all happening at the same time. So for us, what mm. we like to do is, we like to do the, the product design, the processing, the assembly line, everything, mm. all at basically the same time. Same time Instead yes, of yes, going, yeah. you know, like this, right, yeah. we want to see a stream that, that, and that gets the job done faster. But in North America, it's very difficult, and in in uh, in Europe, it's near impossible. Right. So, yeah. I mean, the old concept of kind of throwing the ball over the uh, over the over wall, the wall yeah. and the, you know, the design engineer is not really talking or communicating with right. the manufacturing engineers. That's still somewhat true, I guess, for some manufacturers. It is true it's for but a lot. I mean, yeah. um, our new cus our newest customers, um, they're um, uh, they're in that process still. It seems to be, it seems to be that it seems to me anyway that. Universities are, are pushing out that that concept mm -hmm. that well you're a manufacturing engineer you stay in this silo right. and you're yeah. an electrical engineer well none of that stuff really works when you start looking at Montezuma yes because yes. everybody yeah. is kind of like working together it's a, it's yes. more like a team right. instead of a bunch of superstar barbs I mean, <laughs> nobody no one's ever made a uh, uh, a good team work when mm. you've got all kinds of stars on it. They all right. want to carry the ball themselves, yes. and that's where it falls apart. And so it looks like you're saying that maybe only only Toyota still has have truly integrated that concept of design to yeah. production with uh, Muronzukuri method, but also um, they have the Obeya concept, right? Which is yeah. a large room. You yeah. put all the right. key functions in right. there, key, key engineers and key uh, yeah. leaders, 
and they work together in the same room, virtually or physically, yeah. as opposed to being located in different departments, different yeah. different uh, buildings sometimes, and they're trying to work together. So I, th I think that concept, I agree, is still somewhat unique to Toyota. Um, um, actually, um, Obeya is also part of Manazakuri as far as we're concerned. So yes. if you yeah. look at the Obeya process and who uses it, number one, Tesla. Um, yes. In North America, mm. nobody does a better job at unification and whatnot uh, via, you know, that interpersonal skills and whatnot, uh, Tesla does it the best. In other uh, North American car companies, um, probably I would, I would suggest that Ford and uh, to some degree um, Rivian and um, who else? That, the, the, that would be probably it. Some for, of the companies are still... Oh, and, and Aptera. Aptera does yeah. that. Everybody's in the same, same room. room. Okay. So the smaller companies, yes. Can, can do that, The right? bigger they are, the more, more likelihood that it, does, it doesn't happen. Right. Interesting. Like, I'm still... Uh, I teach some of the Lean and Agile concept, you know, in, at some of the university and colleges. Yes. And, you know, for the most part, like you said, Lean manufacturing and lean thinking still very separated from agile product development. Yeah, yeah. And I've been trying to teach that these needs to be integrated together as a right. single concept. So that from beginning to the end, they're working together, both as a kind of monozukuri concept, but also part of the Obeya concept, all together. Yeah. And it's just a lot of company can't seem to really well, focus on bringing the two together. They, guess they, they see it as a separate thing. Well, here's the other thing. How do you get rewarded? I mean, who gets promoted at, at the big company? It's right. the superstar, right? Right. So yes, if yeah. your area does better than everybody else's, you get the big promotion. <laughs> and so yeah. consequently, you've got this deal where it's, uh, we usually use the term car versus career. Mm. If it's good for the car and it's good for my career, it's easy. Right. Yes. If it's good for the car, but it might be jeopard <laughs> I'm jeopardizing my career, career yes. uh, guess what? I ain't doing it. Right. If it's good for my career and bad for the car, I'm doing it. <laughs> and that's kind of how it seems to work. So right. what we're trying to do, in fact, I'll send you, I have a white paper that I send out I every once in a while. Yeah. I'll, I'll send that to you. And it talks about our process and shows how we try and do what we do. Right. And uh, it, may, it may be helpful to you. So, right. but, but it's very, very difficult with the uh, culture in the United States and Europe to make that happen because there's this, you know, you really cultural friction. Kind of, you always see a lot of fighting, yes. especially when you get to the top of the house, right. trying to get to that, yes. the top of the pyramid, if you like. Yeah, yeah, I guess the career, and plus they're changing jobs so often that That's even, another thing. Right? even yeah. if there was a single person who able who's able to bring all the department and functions together, right. they take off after a couple of years, maybe to right. another company, and yeah. that that process or that leadership style is lost, right? Correct. Um, now, what about, you know, lately there's some surprises in terms of engineering side of thing where, you know, whether it's the, I don't know, the wheels falling off one of the Toyota BZ4X or problem with uh, suspension with another brand, or I don't mean to yeah, bring yeah. up one particular model here, but you know, the engineering side of things lately I've noticed, are they in a rush? Like th there seems to be mistakes um, being made that's un unheard of. In a number of years ago. Yeah. Do you see that trend also happening? I, I can tell you one thing. Um, the number of engineers that were graduated um, in the, um, let's say, from 20, 2012 to 2019, hmm. um, I'm not sure where we are right now, but I can tell you for sure uh, all the teachers were basically saying, oh, you don't want to be a dirty engineer. <laughs> you want to be, you know, a superstar like a, an actor or do tap dancing yeah. or who knows what. <laughs> but anything but engineering. Anything right? but engineering, yeah. and because that's boring, yeah. and um, and so consequently, we we wound up not just uh, in the U.S. and Canada, but also in Europe mm. with a, a dearth. There was none. Wow. But in Japan, you know, they you get an engineering degree, I think, for free still. It mm. used to be that it was for free, and um, and in China uh, they they definitely. I mean, if you're moving into anything other than engineering, they scratch their head and wonder why. Because <laughs> they like technical stuff. They do. They, they like, like the technical stuff. Right. Yeah. Well, that's really hard to change. Where right? that mindset and the culture is shifting away from engineering, and yet engineers are the one who's building things, whether it's yeah. a product development or manufacturing or testing or evaluation. They're the one who has to make these details work. Uh, yet we're 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 not we're on the bottom of the totem pole in terms of, rep, you know, in terms of what 
how people look at us, and and therefore, yeah, well, not it, people, not enough people want to go into this career. Well, at the end of the day, I, I can tell you what we've been doing. So um, we hire, uh, we have Chinese people, Indian people, Japanese people. Um, we have people that um, had a technical background, mm -hmm. and then we'll send them back to school to get their engineering degree. Okay, interesting. And what happens there is, I get. Uh, the hands-on experience from uh, from somebody who's a technical kind of person, and now with the background in engineering, they've got the they're the full package. When we look at um, hiring people, um, as a rule, we're we're probably hiring more and more from offshore, I and see. the reason yeah. for that is because they have the right kind of skill set, they right. have the right kind of work ethic, yes, on and on. Yeah. And sure. it's not quite the same um, yeah. in North America. It's a little slower. Yeah. And if you look yeah. at Elon Musk's groups, yes. holy yeah. mackerel! I mean, <laughs> it's hard to find a European. It oh, really okay. is. There's oh. a lot of a lot of influence from people who um, <laughs> probably didn't get a whole lot of dates in college and things <laughs> like that. So they uh, they're the guys that we're we're looking for as well. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Last question: Who do you think are still the most uh, the best at? Manufacturing, lean manufacturing, is it still Toyota? You, do you feel that or? Toyota, uh, if you're just looking at manufacturing, pretty much everybody's at about the same level. Okay. Toyota is definitely uh, really, really good, but, um, but it's hard to decipher from yeah, a manufacturing yeah. standpoint. Yeah. From an engineering standpoint, from a design standpoint, design perspective. then you start looking at different people. So then you see, uh, you see the, the, the guys who have the best leadership bubbling up. Yeah. So obviously you're going to be seeing things like um, like uh, Elon Musk and right. RJ from uh, from uh, Rivian and uh, right. of course Jim Farley and, and Doug Field from Ford. Ford yes, Those yeah. guys they're on they're on a different platform. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, this morning somebody came up and was talking to me about the different car companies and whatnot, and um, he was saying he was asking what was the difference between the car companies. And I said, uh, it's probably leadership. And he said, well, what do you mean by that? And I said, well, who's in charge of, 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 uh, of Tesla? Oh, Elon Musk. Who's in charge of Ford? Um, I think his name is uh, Farley. Isn't he related to you know the comedian? I said, yeah, his name is Jim Farley. Who's in charge of General Motors? No idea. Who's in charge of Toyota? Well, I don't know. Who's in charge of GM, or sorry, uh, v VW? Who's in charge of Bentley? Who's in charge yeah. of, couldn't come up with another name. Right. So when you've got a mm -hmm. situation where there's only two people yes. that are presidents and CEOs that can be recognized right. yes. in, yeah. the, uh, in the automotive world, it used to be that everybody mm. knew everybody. Yeah, that's uh, true. At least, you know, that's where the all the money comes from. Yes, yeah. That's so um, it's, it's kind of interesting the way, mm. the way things, are, right. things are happening right now. Well, yeah. excellent. Well, I kept you long enough. Oh, thank um, you. Hoping to yeah. maybe work with you or collaborate with you on some future videos or work. Sure. And yeah. we'd love to. You're still based in Michigan, right? Yes, we're, yeah. uh, we're in Auburn Hills, Michigan. Okay. Yeah. I lived in Farmington Hill, Michigan for a while uh, uh, when I used to work with GM. GM. <laughs> no, that was a long time ago. Oh, that was uh, oh. 30 years ago I lived there. So, oh, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm based in Vancouver now. Uh, uh, lovely place. Yeah, I, I'm really but, impressed uh, with Vancouver. Yeah, but yeah. great to see you and great to talk to you. Thank okay, you so thank much. You. Look thank forward you. to catching up with you again later. Absolutely. Thank you, thank thank you so you. much. Thank you.